Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader 40k. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair. It seems like we're in the last sector, the Sanctum of Tapithas, and uh, we are going to explore that together today. It seems all color has died from the first world, the tomb world uh, that uh, that we're looking at. Gray masses of rocks give way only to brownish sand and black void go of gorges. The team barely notices a strange detail amidst uh, the drab landscape, ex an extensive area where the land is too smooth as they approach. This area turns out to be a lake of moving metal, the center of which a burn a green arc discharges. One of the shores lie the ruins of a pyramidal construct. Uh, through magniculars, it is determined that the remains of the pyramids are slowly melting, creating flows that dump new metal into the lake. The smoothness of the lake is lightly ripped uh, by its current, uh, trying to extinguish the flames in the center. Send an exploratory team there, spe specifically equipped servitors, are the first to disembark the shores of the metallic lake. To the explorer's surprise, they return unharmed with samples of the anomalous substance. The squad sets out the study, uh, the lake, in the Xenos constructs. Um, Archlides of the Adeptus Mechanicus determine that the metal constructs the same substance um, of which the pyramids are made. The behavior of uh, the metal particles uh, indicates uh, the constructs made from this metal are capable of regeneration just like living matter, albeit incomparably faster. However, the pyramids are filling the lake by transmitting the metal through built-in portals cannot surmount the destructive force of uh, the arc discharges in the lake center. Find out what happened. One of the pyramids uh, lining uh, the lake's shore uh, is more damaged uh, than the rest. However, no significant conclusions can be drawn. Analyze the movement. Endless flows of uh, metal uh, pour from the portals of every monolith. However, one of uh, the flows is noticeably weaker than the rest. Looking closer, the officer notices a small object blocking the path, which is a hollow field emitter. It's a good one. Let's try to extinguish the flame. The vessels, cannoneers, find the idea of uh, smoothering the green flame with the ship's waste rather dubious. But uh, do not dare to question the will of the Lord Captain. The dropped cargo dissolves to no effect, barely touching the discharges. Hmm. Let's attack the pyramids. The Xeno structures do not give under the first salvos, and from the portals, flows of metal begin to fill the damaged parts. The lake slowly shrinks, but the rogue trader's team quickly understands that this will take several days of bombardment to fully destroy the place. An, uh, an unhealing wound of a body of a mysterious technology. All right, we got a new world. But we haven't found anything here, other than a huge tomb world. There is a bit of a dying star. Judging from the orbital trajectory, this is a parent star of the system. Uh, if the Luminaries uh, reader is right, back in the day it used to be huge and angry with a bite uh, to it, and not this half-dead firefly. What happened to it? I can't imagine. Uh, what could have drained a deadly beast like that? The Lumino reader swears that the rays of the star would have continued withering all life in the system for millions of years more. It was too young to have faded like this as was gnawed out. Nomo says it was attacked suddenly and fiercely. Huge predatory bits of magnetic field and drank as much of its energy as it could. Predator was starving and would have surely devoured the star at whole if it had more time. Nomos, where did you get this info? I do not know, but I can read the traces of what was committed here, and I've seen it happen a hundred times. Okay, maybe they have used it for their purpose. Next planet. Yet another event. 
A shuttle of uh, Imperial make is detected amongst the rocky gorges of the planet, alongside with two nearby Xeno objects. Monolithic structures embedded into the landscape were scanned. The object distorts the signal, but no sign of the enemy activity nor signals from the shuttle. Set servitors to scout. Servitors' signals disappear as soon as they approach the cliffs where the shuttle was found. Not one of them returns, and no data is um, retrieved. Zygman Valencius wishes to personally explore the enigmatic monolith. The Van Valencius shuttle overcomes the turbulent zone with alarming rubble, after which uh, the connection to the void ship becomes tenuous. Despite a rough landing on the rocky terrain, the flight ends successfully. And we are yet to go. Um, let's use the second team and I, this time with our dealer of death, want to make sure that we're at least showcasing a proper um, interaction of the second team. I, I was a bit uh, disheartened that that didn't work out in the first place. But okay, we're good to go now. Let's move and get everybody in line. The world trembles beneath You might make a decent Trukari, cousin, if you could find the strength to admit that your path... <laughs> we are immediately born into another battle. Well, that explains where all of our little servitors have gone. Abelard. Iriot. Uh, Iriot moves there. And Adira moves to here. Let's start the battle with Gucci. This time we're doing it correctly. Earlier it uh, gets uh, the first set of actions. Necron Immortal, a couple of warriors. Teleportation, Matrix. I wonder, do you think... Yeah, that likely is going to just get these guys back in. Okay, we need to work on them. Um, you will be our first kill. And I let's remove pet, some of the armor. Okay, well, if it serves your cause, we are starting with a bang. If I want you in favor, this good hit. If it serves your cause, a kill. Another kill. This tedium is beneath me. If it serves your cause. There we go. Fortune favors the swift. I understand your intent. I hear you moving. No more. We're continuing to hit. If I must. No weakness is hidden from my sight. This tedium is beneath me. One, two, almost got him down. If it serves your cause, fortune favors the swift. Three, he's Versus on his knees. Me. Stop trying, monkey. I understand yeah, let's your just intent. Reload. I am not your Xenos pet. There we go. That's another nice little kill.
This tedium is beneath me. Okay, how about we're opening this guy up again? That worked very well so far. I am not your Xenos pet. Fortune favors the swift. Good hit. If it serves your cause. And we've done that um, and sacrificed Idira to a degree because she now cannot. Um, is not pre buffed. That's a bit unfortunate. Anyways, um, how about giving the second lucky. damage dealer? I can do that with the right few options incentive. here. Uh, Jay moves in. Don't get too cocky. That would be an option, but that would also be an option. I think we should overload. Uh, hmm. Am I getting paid for this? Normal hit. I can do that with the right incentive. Followed by an offhand attack, but unfortunately didn't work out. All right. Um, listen. Let's do this first. And we're now going to try whether or not uh, this, uh, the idea, uh, whether or not uh, the problem is solved. Purpose Hit both of them. Me. All right, none of our uh, characters has died. That's a good start. Good. Unfortunately for us, Idira first needs to Anything set else? herself aflame. What? Was that you? Or... But of course. We can do this On and it. that and a little bit I of self-healing so that we're not uh, in trouble. We'll do. A bit more of this. Anything else? And I could use a heroic act, but I don't want to. We could give everybody here a couple of actions. No, I think we're okay. Papa's guides me. We'll let Marazai act, but yeah, we'll let Marazai act first. I need no guidance. We'll go for the boss. Can't hide from me. All right, might as well use heroic acts and uh, start uh, getting this guy down. It is him. No. I will savor your delectable anguish. Very good. First hit. Fantastic. These immortals are tough as nails.
He has like what? 150% armor. Should have given our, uh, ourselves the piercing resolution. Okay, let's try this again. Look at that. Finally, no one of our colleagues uh, perishes. We can even use it again. And no one perishes. Fantastic. This tedium is beneath me. I will triumph. What a satisfying demise. Good. Saiken, so I, I need to make sure I'll I'll not do that in the next combat. Uh, Saiken can solo clear uh, with that sanctified staff now. Uh, that's not good. Uh, we'll just use other uh, others uh, to do it. And Saiken is there for buffing. Um, Gloom Rifle, solid projectile, very nice additional hit chance, damage is good, damage from over penetration, and deals uh, additional deflection damage, that's a really good sniper, whenever uh, where uh, hits uh, deals uh, where the worst critical hits deal double damage. Okay, nice. So, the broken body has been smashed into the ground by such force that there are cracks left. These here are the teleportation chambers. The monolith looms over a small plane, uh, black, ominous, and indestructible. And here is the shuttle. You can still recognize the Van Valencius coat of arms, half a braided emblem on the side of the shuttle. I tread a path unexplored. The Vox does not uh, produce a sound. Entry one, we landed successfully here, but we were unable to uh, report to her ladyship. The communication channel was filled with interference. The navigation system has been affected, so we will not to ta uh, be able to take off any time soon, Sergeant. Uh, the Manny is looking for someone, um, uh, some source of the interference. We got a nice little Fury Incarnate. Whenever the wearer is under the effect of Reckless Rush, uh, all wearers attack gain 50% critical chance. 50% critical damage. All attacks gain, uh, against the wearer gain 50% critical hit chance and they suffer more critical damage. Okay, understood. Then we got a very nice uh, bolter, which might be interesting for Argenta, and a heavy suit of armor. Um, Where suffers 30% less from area and burst attacks and has more armor against humans. That is good for Abelard. That's Sometimes you can see the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and weigh every step. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. Okay, very nice loot. A very nice loot. I don't think there is much more to be had here. True power. Fight was over way too fast. Good, we got a tome world here. And there's just Nothing but uh, but a little tome there. Those things, I've never seen anything before like this. Uh, the panel of the ship's tech priest, a Luma reader, says they are star corps, not just corps as they call them stellocide victims. What does that mean? Uh, who knows uh, with those star sages, apparently when a star dies of natural death, it's different. 
all of the energy was siphon, uh, siphoned um, like a spider sucks the innards out of a fly. Okay, uh, so... Okay, so we uh, do have, I think, one more battle here and then we go... Uh, we go into the tomb world, it seems. Okay. We fought a lot of starship battles. I'm not afraid of yet another one. This will hold strong. Oh, wow. Well, we do have uh, quite a few enemies here. Wow. Do something. Yeah. Restart the shields. Start boarding these guys. Send their souls to the void. Good. Might as well start hitting these uh, light cruisers right away emblazon our path microcarrots annihilate them let destruction fall forth these guys are dead We're jumping forward, shields to the back. Good hit, but unfortunately not good enough. Um, couple of boarding parties over there. Oh, come on, we have no master of maneuvers. hits fantastic hits moving forward and we're keeping we're keeping uh, our back uh, shields Should kill them. Chart a Turning fully around. Front shields need to be recharged this time. Unleash 
torment. Good, more boarding parties. Go and do your worst. Shots. Way more damage and unleash the storm of Let the Imperium guide us. We're flying by as a flyby attack. Can't really hit them. At least not very well. I think we're just going to stay here. Blessed are the faithful. Very good. Decently hard uh, ship battle, but I think we did uh, very well overall. Can upgrade further. Ship is almost fully there. Macro cannons, yes. And we theoretically got shield pulls. Yeah, let's do that as well. Fantastic. And there we go, there's another tomb world. Which might be the sole source of all of uh, that. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to find there. And uh, I don't want to stretch anything out, but we're at the 30 minutes mark. So we're going to wander together until the next episode. <laughs> so have a good one. See you in the next episode. And then we're going to explore this tomb world. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.